Welcome to Scratch Jr. Beat the Clock. This is a challenging program game that gets harder with each new challenge. In this game, you have to select the correct backgrounds, sprites, and scripts for the program you're about to see. You will have three minutes to complete your challenge. If you get done early, open a new page and get creative there. Please click on the home button and open a new project. You may begin now. This is about the halfway mark. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You still have about a minute and a half to go. Uh, so check over your project a little bit. Do you have the right background? Did you have to make any changes to it or change colors or draw your own background? How about your sprites or characters? Did you have to edit those, change colors, make a new character? Did you have to add sounds or new pages? And finally, your scripts. Are your programming blocks making your characters or sprites do what you see on the screen? Check those out. Make some changes if they're not. Best of luck. Doing a great job. Our time is up for challenge seven, the soccer game. I hope you have fun with this one and that you got as much of the program as possible. Now that remember, there's always more than one way to script a program, but I do give you some hints so that you're using the blocks that I'm using in my program. So on this, we picked our background, which was the park. And so make sure you're selecting the park background and you're also selecting your characters. Now I picked the penguin. He's going to be our shooter um, for the ball. And I also picked talk. The talk on here, we changed him to a purple color. And then the top part was purple and a check mark. And we're going to bring him. He's the goalie. So I moved him around. I used that left arrow key to make him face the left direction. I'm going down and I need to pick the soccer ball and the soccer net. Now remember, this is he shoots and almost scores, so we do not want to score, and I'll show you why. So let's look. I got them all positioned about where they are. I put them on those circles on the screen to make it a little bit easier. So our penguin is going to start on the green flag and go over about two spaces that touches the ball. You could have had three that have been fine. One probably wouldn't have been far enough. It just needs to touch the ball. So the ball 
we're going to use when it bumps. If you use the weight block, you don't want to use that weight block. That's why I gave you the hint of to use when bumped. And we're going to make it go a certain distance over. You can use the grid line or you can test it out. I actually made mine go too far on purpose. Why did I do that? Because I wanted to let you see that when it bumps into something, it keeps going. So if it bumps into the soccer net, it will keep going, or if it bumps into talk down below. So that's why I said shoots and almost scores. We want it to be out there where it's not quite scoring. On here, we have to use two bump blocks. Why? Because it's just gliding across the ground. We want it to roll or spin like a soccer ball does, but not just one time. Let's try the same amount of times as our over. No, that's not good either. It stops too soon. So this is where you can play with the numbers a little bit. That's not too bad there at 15. I can make it go 17. I can, it doesn't have to be perfect, but we would have to kind of stop right there. So it's stopping about the right place. We're gonna put our end blocks on to end our program and our script go up to the main stage. Let's see what it looks like. And he almost scores. Very close. Great job on this challenge today. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I really appreciate if you like, subscribe, and share below. Have a wonderful day. Until next time.